Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will speak about the thickness of the lines. So I mean thickness of the lines 2D lines. Anyway, that lines can be used in 3D. So uh, let's get started. And the first I will start from the plan view because uh, you already know how to looks plan and let's start with this one. As you can see all the main lines if i will uh, for example the scroll uh zoom in out you can see the all the line now have the same size but this is because my thin lines is on let's off it and let's check the lines as you can see the sum of the lines it's cannot you cannot see the oh you can see here some of the lines now have the bigger thin than before so how we can change it, where you can change it, how you can control it, I will show you in this lesson. We will start from the lines and first I will show you how you can change it in directly in this view. Let's say you want to change your uh, thickness of the line uh, just local on this plan only for this line but we can go to modify and here under view you will find line work let's use the white line work and let's find the white line and as you understand this is line will be more bigger and like this you can control your lines but that's it that's not all the function of that because uh, that's not most uh, uh, bigger line what we have in the Revit if I will change let's say the scale well, you, as you can see now scale 1 to 20 and the uh, thin line now it's uh, really less one we can change for example to 500 and you can see this is huge one how you can control it let's go to uh, settings and let's uh, make some um, some changes there so for that one we should go to the manage after manage we will go to the uh, additional settings and here the line weight you will find all our settings about the lines let me explain you what you now see on your screen at the left side you can see the grades uh in revit so uh number one it's uh, means like this is so uh thin line so this is most thickness line what you have and number 16 this is most bigger line what you have and as you understand if you are using the line number one at scale 1 to 10 uh, the size of your line will be 0 0.18 so I think you understand how it's working so if you're using the same scale but you're using this type of the line it will be 9 millimeter so it's really simple i hope you understand how it's work and as you understand we can change it directly in here or we can even add more some uh, additional scales how we can add the some additional scales right here add the scale let's uh, type the add and let's find some scale what we don't have for example we have here one to ten but we don't have one to five so let's add it and as you can see we have one to five and sizes of this line so you can change it and control it right here just apply it but you will say oh, what if i'm using some uh, perspective view this is right here the perspective line weight and you can see here we don't have any scale because this is perspective view and we have only one grades of the thickness line we can change it here for annotation we have the same uh, thing and you can find it here so it's also can you can change it here okay so now i think you understand the line weight it's not only about the uh, number number of grades of thickness it's also about the scale of your uh, view but uh, how we can create the line for example most bigger line or most thickness line i will show you right now so to create your uh, additional your user uh, line let's go to additional settings and let's find the line styles uh, here under line styles you can find the category lines let's open up and you can see all the lines what we have inside in our project uh, remember what we have inside this project so different project different lines 
uh, okay so and as you can see the line weight it's all the half one mostly all the it's a uh, uh, most thickness one it's only one but some of them like area boundary six and for example the uh, our uh, biggest line it's only seven it's not even the 16 as we have so we can create the new line let's create and let's say this is uh most big line ever why not and uh let's uh put it on under category lines because we have only category lines now but we can create new category you can see here modify sub subcategory and the button new so you can create uh, like uh, as much as you want the sub subcategories if you want so uh we already have the name for new our line let's say okay and you can find it here so we can make the preparation here let's make it 16 it will be most bigger line let's make it so color like the red one and let's change the type of the line the pattern uh let's say it will be dash line 2.5 and let's say okay so what we did now if i will go again to the modify and to the uh, line work i will find my line here most big line ever let's use it and let's put it and as you can see uh, this is actually not what i want so let's make more um, uh, more preparation of that one let's go again to the manage let's go with the additional settings and find line weight here okay so we have the line we know we are using the grades 16 right and our scale is 1 to 20 let's find it 16 1 to 20 so and as you can see this all have the nine millimeters let's say i know one of them nine millimeters let's say right here i want make it 12 millimeters okay let's apply it let's say okay and as you can see it's now more bigger than before so now you know how you can create your own line if you want to create your own set line go back to the line styles just say new subcategory and say my uh, lines and let's say okay oh sorry uh, this is, was my mistake i let's delete it what what was mistake my subcategory was same sorry uh so and say like new one new line so now you have the new line here so uh, now you know how to create your own lines. What about the pattern? Pattern, you can change it here. So all three function you have on the same line. So the pattern, we can use that one or we can create new own, new our own. But we will talk about the pattern in next tutorial. What also else about the line, uh, line weight? Uh, you can change it also in visibility graphics. Let's go to the visibility graphics. This is double uh, K VV or we can use, for example, view and visibility graphics here and here you can find for example uh this one this is a uh, floor i hope this is floor let's find find this here floor uh this is floor and here we're using the lines as you can see under this uh, cut we, we have here the lines and under projection surface we have the lines let's change the type of the lines here and as you can see we don't have any, now any override pattern and we have here also the thickness of these lines let's make 16 okay why not and we can change again to the sum pattern if we want but i will leave as it is let's say okay and let's make it i don't know red one and let's say okay again okay let's go back and as you can see all my lines from the floor now red one and 16 so use this function control your graphics and it will be more easiest to get your uh, drawings more um, more clear but don't forget if your uh, bottom uh, thin lines is on you never will see uh, your real thickness of the line just remember about that because if you will export to aftercut aftercut will see your drawings not like this aftercut will see the real size of that lines so i hope this is uh, uh covered all 
um, all topic about the thickness uh, of the lines in Revit. But if I forgot something, please leave uh, the comment below. Uh, try to help me. Uh, if uh, you like this video, of course, so don't forget the like, uh, subscribe and share this video. Thank you guys and see you next time. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.